In this video, I will show you how to set up System C development environment with Docker. I choose Docker because a Docker image can be used in Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Also, with Docker, it is possible to pre-install the necessary tools and the libraries. As a regular user, you don't need to install these tools yourself. All you need is to download and install Docker, get the image for system C, and start to use it. The instructions are summarized in this web page. You go to learnsystemc.com and choose the first example, system C environment setup with Docker. Okay, let's start step by step. First, download and install Docker Desktop. Depend on your operation system, please download the Docker Desktop for Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. I will download for Mac. When download finish, let's install the Docker Desktop. Next, let's start Docker. First time Docker starts, you see this pop-up window asking you, are you sure to open it? Let's open. Now you see this icon pops up, which shows Docker desktop is starting. Let's wait until it turns green. Okay, now Docker is ready. Let's Move on. Open a terminal. Then download the systemc docker image with this command. Next, let's run the docker image. Now you can see we are inside a Linux operation system. In the Docker image, there is a systemc example, which is used to verify the setup is fine. Let's start to build it. First, go inside the hello world folder, run a make command, an executable is generated. Now let's launch it. It is generated with system C 2.3.3 and you see hello world printed. You can also modify the source code as you wish or create your own system C source code within the Docker container. For example, let's change the hello world to hello system C. build it, and run again. Hello system C is printed, which shows everything is working fine. While you can directly develop and debug within the Docker container, my personal recommendation is to remote development via Vero Studio Code, as introduced in this link. First, let's download and install Vero Studio Code. Again, choose the version matches your operation system. When download complete, let's unzip the file and drag it into the application folder. Next, let's install the remote containers extension. You can install it from the URL here by clicking the install button, or you can also install it from within VS Code. Let's use the second approach. Let's open VS Code. Again, okay, first time launch, you see this pop-up window. Let's click open. Then click the extensions button. 
type in remote and install the second one remote for containers now let's go to step three after install the remote control extensions you will see this symbol here click it and choose remote containers attached to running container choose learn with examples slash system c a new vs code window opens let's do file open hello world click ok Now you see the same source code. Let's move on to install the C++ extensions. You can install it by clicking this button here or click extensions, type C++ and choose to install here, install in container. Now the C++ extension is installed. You can start to debug using VS code. You can set breakpoint and then start to debug by pressing F5 or the debug button here. Our program stopped here in this line. You can step in, step over and step out. The last thing you need to know is how to mount your local drive onto the Docker image, otherwise you cannot access your local file. To do that, you have to use the dash V option. Let's open a new terminal. Now you can see your local files from inside the Docker container. Okay, this is all for this session. Thanks for watching.